When audiences see Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey, Disney's new animal adventure film, they'll be introduced to the latest in a long series of extraordinary Disney animals. The three stars of The Incredible Journey, Chance, Shadow, and the Himalayan cat, Sassy, follow in the paw prints of some of the most memorable animal stars ever. He's a pretty yellow dog. Old Yeller was the first and holds a powerful place in the hearts of everyone who saw the film. What is the ingredient that makes these animals so appealing? Clint Rao, the trainer of Mike the Dog, and Jed from the journey of Natty Gan, says that the cue came from Walt Disney himself. He grew up with the Disney dogs. They're always heroes and, uh, and uh, had a lot of character, a lot of personality. A lot of films with dogs, they're there. Uh, maybe they're laying by the hearth, and that's about it where Disney said, well, this animal has a, a character, and that's what we want to see. Dogs may be natural performers, but cats seem born to be stars. Sassy! Put it down! I told you to run away! I never listen to dogs. Chance, Shadow, and Sassy's characters are perhaps more developed than any of their predecessors. One of the biggest challenges facing director Dwayne Dunham was the amount of interaction between the animals. When the movie starts out, it's... It's this young pup who has kind of come along, and he's sort of from the city, and he doesn't know the ways of this family. Now we're talking turkey. Stealing from the table is not tolerated in this household. Yeah, yeah, what are you going to do about it? All right, OK, OK, just wanted to smell it. The old dog's blind devotion toward getting home, getting home, doesn't really register with the, the young dog until the young dog is required to step forward and, and really step into the place of the older dog and become a leader. Meanwhile, Miss Prissy, the cat, um, it does, really doesn't accept this dog and, and thinks he's rather vulgar. And the dog doesn't really accept the cat. She's a little bit too refined for his street sense. And ultimately, they come together as well. Sassy, help me out here, will you? I'm starving. Say it first. Cats rule and dogs drool, you happy? Thank you, precious. You're welcome, cupcake. There you go. The lead animals for the film did not come from large commercial kennels, but from individual homes. And so head trainer Joe Camp felt especially responsible for providing loving care. They have bonds with certain trainers, so they go into the motel rooms with us. And uh, we've been real lucky. Uh, the Portland motels that have taken us in have really tolerated a lot. You know, you see basically 10 dogs and, you know, eight cats moving through the hallways, going in and out of rooms. It, it, they have to be really patient, but we haven't had any accidents yet either in the rooms. The special efforts paid off with stellar performances turned in by the pampered animals. I'm going home. What? What did you say? No way! Shadow, wait! It, it's too far! You, you don't know the way! What if they come back here looking for us? Who'll feed you? You won't make it out there on the road! That's where they catch you and take you to the pound! Hey, guys! Guys, wait up! Wait up! I'm coming! Whoa! Oh, that hurts! With 30 years of great animal performances by their predecessors, Chance, Shadow, and Sassy have a lot to live up to. From the looks of it, they may set a few standards of their own. 